All right. I'm Brian Lee Durfee, author of The Forgetting Moon, The Blackest Heart, and The Lonesome Crown, all published by Simon & Schuster Saga Press. Today I'm going to be reviewing John Jake's California Gold. John Jakes is one of my favorite historical novelists. He wrote the North and South trilogy, consisting of North and South, Love and War, Heaven and Hell. One of the greatest stories of the Civil War you will ever read. If you don't want to read it, you can watch the miniseries starring Patrick Swayze. It's an awesome miniseries. John Jakes also wrote one of my other favorite historical series about the about a, it's a family saga that starts in England with the bastard and the bastard he moves to America and he goes through the Revolutionary War and it's just a chronological thing of a family saga where his family they see the Revolutionary War the Civil War all the up until the 1900s it's just a great series eight books long they're right here that's all I'd ever read of John Jakes I thought I would start reading some of his other works starting with California Gold you know, we always um, review the covers. I've got the hardcover here, the paperback here. The paperback, we don't know who the cover artist is, but I do like that. I do like that, that little cover art there. This one was by a guy named, um, this one was done by a uh, illustrator named, let me see. Paul Bacon. <clears throat> so the hardcover was done by Paul Bacon. I think it's nice. So there's a big bold typefaces, nice little California scene here. I give them both like sort of sort of a slightly better than average rating for the covers. I love the covers on these bastard books. On the bastard series, the covers are dynamite. I love these things. I love. But we'll review those at a different day. <clears throat> I'm wearing my Bodie California shirt because California Gold is about. Striking it rich in California and Bodie, California was one of the biggest gold mining old ghost towns in California. So one of the, it's actually the largest still standing ghost town in America, which was an old gold mining ghost town. And I've been there. It's awesome. It's cool. It's a great place to visit. It's like a California state park. I know about Bodie, California because you remember the old hair band Cinderella? They shot their video for the uh, music video, Don't Know What You Got Till It's Gone, in Bodie, California. It's the only way I know about Bodie, California. I saw that video. I was like, where is that band at? That's like a cool place. That ghost town that they're filming that video in looks cool. Made a trip out there. It's kind of out by uh, Yosemite Park and stuff like that. But I made a trip just in, you know, a little bit aside. It has nothing to do with this book. What's this book about? California Gold. John Jakes is a great historical novelist. He wrote this one in 1989 after he'd finished these series. And it's a standalone Western. It's not part of a series. This is just it's a, it's a standalone book, one of his very few standalone novels. It takes place in 1886, and it follows a guy named Mike Chance, no, Mac Chance, as he walks from Pennsylvania to California because he wants to strike it rich. You know, the gold rush of uh, 1849 is over. It's now 1886, but he still thinks that he's going to go out there and find some gold and make it rich, right? So he walks as a young man along the train track, which is crazy. I mean, the train have already been, the, the Intercontinental Railroad's already been built from the East Coast to the West Coast. And he just, he walks, he doesn't, he, I don't know why he just didn't hitch a ride and stow away, but he walks and when the train passes, he kind of, gets off the track and watches it go by, but he walks the entire train track from Pennsylvania to California, <clears throat> thieving along the way. I mean, he, he's, he's, he's just like, you know, he's like, um, well, I, I just, I'll, I'll just steal from different people as I go by. But anyway, he, uh, and I was thinking about that. Could I walk, could I myself walk from the East coast to the West coast now, back in the pioneer days, before the railroad came out, they had to push wagons and they had to just forge their own trail. But, I mean, having a railroad there that you can follow makes it lots easier. But still, could it be done? I was thinking, as I was reading this, I was, I was following his journey along this railway, and I was thinking to myself, God, that's such an adventure. And, every, and, and John Jakes does such a great job of describing 
the new sense of wonder when he first sees the Rocky Mountains and when he's following the railway through the Rocky Mountains and into the Sierra Nevada mountains and he's just like blown away by the beauty of the landscape. And I'm like, oh my, John Jakes painted such a beautiful picture. It's like, I want to be on that adventure. And then I'm thinking, I'm looking at myself and I'm like, Man, I'm a, just a fat middle-aged man out of shape. I can't do that. What what the fuck am I thinking about? I can't walk. Even if, even if it was on a highway, I don't even want to drive it. I mean, I've driven across country. Even that's miserable. I mean, and if I was to walk, even if it was on a railroad, I would sprain my ankle at least half a dozen times. I would give up. So anyway, but I was along for the adventure. It was pretty cool. It started out cool and adventurous, and he was thieving along the way, and he was meeting different cool characters along the way. In fact, sometimes, I mean, one of the times he the train passes by up in the up by Truckee, uh, Truckee, uh, California, which is up by Lake Tahoe. The train passes by, and and he sees a stowaway gets pitched off the train into the snow, and he goes and rescues the stowaway, and they kind of become friends. But the stowaway is an outlaw too; he's a cutthroat. And uh, so they kind of make their way down into the valley, into San Francisco. And, uh, you know, the stowaway wants to go to California, uh, to Los Angeles, because he thinks that's where, but, but Chance wants to stay in San Francisco. And so they split up, and, 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 then, they, and then Chance meets these women, and he gets involved with this guy, um, Fairbanks, uh, who uh, is a, <clears throat> he, he, although, and the one woman that he gets involved with is cool, is he's on a ferry from Oakland to San Francisco, and this girl jumps off the ferry as if to commit suicide in the middle of the bay. And nobody's saving her. Like, the ferry boat captain's just, like, keeps going. Nobody jumps in. To... So Chance jumps in to save her, right? And um, she's like, get off of me. Get off of me. You're ruining it. You're ruining my whole plan. And he's like, what plan? And anyway, he saves her. And he's like, you... once he saves her, she's not happy. She's like, why the... did you save me? I was... I'm a journalist. I'm a reporter. And... A lot of people try to commit suicide off of these ferries and nobody and nobody saves them and nobody helps them. And so I was doing a report on how nobody helps. I can swim. I was going to be fine. I was going to swim. I knew exactly where I was going to swim to. I was going to be okay. And I was going to do this report and expose these ferry boat captains for the callous motherfuckers that they are. And you saved me and screwed it up. And he's like, oh, my bad. But anyway, they become... Uh, you know, boyfriend, girlfriend, many, here's the thing. I thought that I was going to be reading a cool Western novel, you know, because the back of it describes it as this kind of cool, like Western novel. Like I'm going to get some gunfights and some gunslingers and some, just some stuff like that. But that's, that's not really the way it turned out. The way it turned out was, um, it's more about this guy, once once he gets to California, he gets involved with these high finance dudes who are into oil, and the, into drilling oil, and then he just, he, he starts to make his, it's more of like, it's more of like the boardwalk empire. That's what we're, that's what we're really dealing with here is, instead of like a western, we're dealing with like more of a boardwalk empire, but set in San Francisco, where it's, there is some action and some intrigue and some backstabbing and some things like that, but it's not like your typical Western, and I don't know, because the back of the cover makes it seem like you're going to be reading, like, this really cool, badass Western. I mean, it's it's kind of a badass book in its own way, and maybe I shouldn't have set my expectation so high that I was going to be re reading this cool Western, like Lonesome Dove or something. It's more of like, it really is more of like Boardwalk Empire, where people are just trying to outmaneuver each other to get the bigger oil field and to swipe the land from the from the um, the Spanish people that already own it and the Indian people that already own it. That's kind of what we're dealing with here. <clears throat> it's kind of like a high finance thriller set in the Old West, which is fine for what it was, but um, kind of slowed the pace down a little for me when I was when, when the first hundred or couple hundred pages were so dynamite. And then, um, you know, because if you read North and South or the Bastard series... Oh my gosh, the action and the adventure and just the gunplay and the duels and the fights and the and the drama is just so much bigger scale than this was. So, maybe John Jake's strength is doing these big series that you can really sink your teeth into. You know, this three book series or this eight book series. Whereas a standalone, I felt just like a little maybe let down. Though, still a pretty good book, still kept me interested till the end. 
still read through the whole thing. But we will do reviews of these other ones, and you will see how much these things are awesome as hell. This one is semi-okay, and I would give this about a 6.5, maybe a 7 out of 10. If I were you and I was to recommend a book to you that's a John Jakes book, I would definitely start with North or South or The Bastard and maybe work this one in a little later if you wanted to. Or if what I've said sounds interesting to you, go ahead and pick this one up. It is a standalone, so you're not really investing a lot of future. I mean, you know, if you read North and South, you're going to want to read these. If you read The Bastard, you're going to want to read the other eight. This one's a standalone. It can kind of get you the flavor of what John... He's a good writer. Like I said, those first hundred, couple hundred pages where the guy's just walking across the railroad tracks to California, I had me transfixed because his writing is so good. Um, anyway, that's my review of California Gold by John Jakes, one of my favorite writers. Peace out.